My name is Daniel Pinchback. I'm a writer. I've written two books, uh, Breaking Open the Head and 2012, The Return of Quetzalcoatl. And uh, I guess I deep, you know, mostly think of myself as a writer, journalist, now kind of a philosopher. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, very fascinated by uh, shamanism and um, sort of uh, ar the, ar the idea of the archaic revival. Uh, bringing back kind of uh, traditional knowledge into our like postmodern context. Okay, so I mean, I think once again, if you look at our idea of a civilization, you know, we have an idea that you make a civilization and it goes on forever. You know, America will go forever, linear progress, just keep developing. Well, the Mayans clearly didn't have the same idea of time that we do, and the idea of like continuity. You know, maybe for them, you know, a civilization comes together to uh, put together an esoteric body of knowledge and to leave it behind, encoded in, in, in this incredibly artistic, sophisticated, playful way, so that we would pick it up right now as incarnating Maya to then get the job done. You know, you know I've been very fascinated by. Uh... Alejandro Jodorowsky's work, especially uh, Holy Mountain, to totally blew me away. And uh, I felt like a great kinship, you know, just um, with his kind of alchemical, revolutionary, surrealist perspective on reality. And I just thought we would, uh, we, we might vibe well with each other. I received his book there two days ago. And I, I read very quickly, reading the book, I know what he's searching. And he's searching for an old knowledge legend from the Aztec. Uh, he's searching also the meaning of the unconscious, the change of our, our uh, civilization, the end of the world, all that, no? Well, it's interesting. His spiritual autobiography. Uh, I just finished it. That's uh, this book here, and uh, I uh, enjoyed it uh, immensely. I think what really um, fascinates me about him is that mixture of kind of European avant-garde sensibility with this kind of spiritual drive toward uh, enlightenment or illumination or salvation, and those are things that I, I feel like I've, I'm trying to sort of draw together in my work. So, so that, that really um, is, is, I think, why I wanted to meet him. I want to show uh, him my, my, my soul and my, my unconscious. I don't want to show, uh, I want to show um, uh, interior landscape. You're being followed. What? You're being followed. Ah, I'm Daniel. Uh, yes, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you are the person, the person that we need to think together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think you are not so young. <laughs> well, we, what we do? We start. Yeah, yeah, we start. Listen, I, I decide to to invite you here because here is a point where all the ways of France start and finish. When you, you say 
that number of kilometers mm -hmm. start here in front of Notre Dame, no? And then in that time, in some time they was started, but I don't know if it's still, it's still there mm -hmm. in, the, in the floor. Hello, here. Oh yeah, this is it, center point. Yeah. So you, you, you uh, got a copy of my book? You read a little of it? They, I, I, they sent me two days ago. Well, uh, How I can read all the book? Yeah, yeah. But I see I was, what you was speaking, no? Yeah, yeah. The crop circle. Crop circle. circle. What do you see they, they are? You have an idea? Yeah. What is they? What they are? Uh, I think they're a, a teaching on the nature of consciousness. In the concept of the, the earth? Uh, no, you know, all consciousness, I guess. I mean, our, our consciousness right. also. Who, that, who is doing that? Uh, other levels of galactic intelligence that are beyond the human. Collective? Maybe extraterrestrials? Yes. Yeah. That, we are obliged to think that, but it's uh -huh. so incredible. No? Yeah. I propose you another way to think about that. Okay. We will think there are human beings who are doing that. Uh -huh. yeah? yeah? Human beings. Mm -hmm. But if you are human beings, we need to be astonished. What kind of human yeah, yeah. being can do that? Totally. They need to be very wise. Yeah. Know all the symbols. Yeah. They need to. They need to have a fantastic technique to make that so quickly, yeah, yeah. so big. Yeah. And they cannot be one. Yeah. Need to be a, a group to yeah. make this enormous thing. Need to be a group. Yeah. And then they, they are. If we say if they are human beings, we need to admit now they are mutants. Yeah between us. Uh -huh. Human beings who are mutants, <laughs> who are doing the most beautiful art of our century. Yeah. Because it's better than everything that is in the museum. True. I mean, there was, um, you know, I talked about in the book, like science uh, evidence, like physicists who've studied what happens to the plants and the formations and find yeah. that there's like um, molecular changes uh, that you yeah. wouldn't find if they were just pushed down. Yes, yes, I read, yeah. 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 Because I read a lot about this. Yeah. yeah. You observe yeah. This, the, the, here is the tree with the oldest tree of Paris. Do you believe uh, trees can have some kind of uh, of existence uh, more than a vegetal? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you believe that? Yeah. And if uh, you believe that, you need to, to have an emotion to, to see that. Yeah. What do you think so? You are scared? What's that? You are scared. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shamanismo. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> and then you need to, to bring the the spirit of the of the tree mm -hmm. in you. No? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I come here, I sit here, you know, see? Listen. Yeah? They are sitting here tranquil. Nobody comes here. I think I think they are scared of this tree. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. your family was uh, Polish Jewish background or uh? no Russian Jewish. Russian My Jewish. father Russian. My mother half Russian Jewish because she, her mother was raped by a Cossack a Russian, uh -huh. and she was the daughter of a rape. And you're, you grew up all in Chile, early childhood? Or? I, I grew in a little town till nine years, mm -hmm. ten years. The, the person was a little mixed, brown, little nose. Myself, I had a big nose, I was very white. <laughs> and I don't have friends. The only way I could uh, take fun was to go to the library and read books, mm -hmm. fairy tales. I read all the library. And then I went out. I forget my family. I never return. I was 40 years out, hmm. trying to find myself. I don't see my family anymore. Good. Till today, they died. And this was a, sound like a hero trip, a hero, because only the hero can kill his family. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I see so many persons have problems with his mother, with his brother, with mm. his father. They have enormous problems. They can, the psychoanalysts want a lot of money with that. <laughs> but they cannot solve that problem, no? Uh, they cannot cut. Well, that's the uh, possession trance again. Yes. Yes, it's a some kind of possession. Ya. Vayon and Avian Action. Tati Regar. Ne pas pa, les to alea to la enconcia di tibalaeli, sase mon papa.
Mais Dieu, ça c'est ce qui vient. Ton papa. Oui. Ok. Avec Chaucir ou sans Chaucir Comme il est. Comme il est. Ya, yeah. yeah, carajo, exprime-toi. Papa, exprime-toi. C'est le moment. Ah, exprime-toi maintenant, je regrette. Mais les regrets, ça ne va rien. <rire> Là, il commence à s'exprimer, voyez-vous, il commence à s'exprimer. Le regret, ça ne sert à rien. Ça, c'est ce qu'il n'a jamais fait. I'd say that this uh, ayahuasca religion from Brazil that, that I work with, uh, Santo Daime, yeah. uh, you know, does, does, does good work in that regard, you know, like, um, but it seems very similar to the psychomagic, like getting people to actually kind of embody those spirits and, and, and then uh, release them. And you take the ayahuasca in Brazil, no? I've done it in Brazil and I, and I do it in the United States too. In the United States too? Uh, Was good for you? I love it, yeah. <laughs> Did you see serpents and crocodiles? Uh, I've seen uh, serpents and spaceships and uh, weird deities. You... I feel like um, it's, uh, it's good to have a, uh, a ceremonial container yes. uh, to do uh, this type of uh, medicine. And you vomit all the time? No, not always, no. Yeah. Uh, usually I'm happy when I do vomit, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how many times you are with the, this... This girl. Well, the girl that you just met? Yes, yes, Oh, no, we've been together, yeah, we've been together for four or five months now. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant the girl you're talking about, the medicine I was. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she lives with me in New York. Yeah, you're happy? Yeah, pretty much. You, find, you find the woman of your life? Um, of, uh, of, of my life right now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. She's you, you know love? Do you know how to be in love? I'm not sure, no. I'm not, not sure. sure. Do you? No. Now. Yeah. I, I, I find, now I find the woman of my life at 76 years. Oh. When you find that, it's evident. There are no any more doubt. Yeah, yeah. It's absolute certainty. It's yes. It's, it's evident. Really. They are, they are, you don't fear. It's, it's that. Yeah. For the two of them, no? It's, it's that. But it's very difficult to find that. Very difficult, no? Yeah, well, I've been, uh, I mean, I wrote about in the last book um, wondering about, uh, you know, monogamy and wondering if maybe, like, uh, alternative uh, relationship models are, are possible or, or make sense. Um, monogamy is not, is you are not, uh, is not real love, it's not truth. Mm -hmm. But when you have the certain, this, then you find the sin, you know, mm -hmm. the treasure, you find the treasure, You are, you, are, you, you are not monogam, but you don't need any more. Yeah, yeah. Nothing more. Right. Huh? Makes sense. Nothing more. That is good. So why did it take 76 years then to, uh, to find this? Because I was a neurotical <laughs> guy, because yeah. my, my family was terrible. Uh, neurotical, you said? Or? Neurotical, oh, yeah. yes. And then I, I need to heal myself. I, did, I didn't believe my, my mother loved me. Never. He never touched me. Huh? Never, never, never. And then... I live like that, I say my mother doesn't love me, no? and then the woman doesn't love me. I didn't believe. Mm. And one day she, my mother mo, uh, died you know, in Peru, but I have a sister, and send me a letter. I say, there are 30 years I have this letter your mother sent to you. I forget to send to you. And this letter was a love declaration of my mother. Well, different. I, I, went, I can show you, I put in a frame, After that, I find the woman of my life. Well, that is why we are possessed mm. for the family, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a kind of possession. Mm.